All right, it's been a couple years since I posted a video on the Escalade, so just a, a quick update video. If you check my YouTube channel, you can see um, in a little bit more detail everything I've done. So just go ahead and start the truck up here. So the, the main thing I get questions about is my clock replacement here. Uh, this is a Samsung Galaxy J5. Just a basic cell phone it costs less than a hundred bucks and uh, it's just wired in under the dash and I use it primarily just for navigation it looks kind of cool it's better than that useless analog clock so it just doesn't I have a you know a couple of animations when the truck first starts up and then it will take us to, to side -jack. now what I also I didn't have this before this is new now um, down here in the uh, OBD port it's kind of hard to see because it's dark right now I've got a little Bluetooth adapter here so with that I can actually run the the torque app on Android and get um, real-time stats from the, uh, the computer so it just takes a few seconds and it connects like right now I just have a, a temperature screen up but basically anything that you can read from the uh, the computer you can display on your screen here so it's pretty neat um, also speaking of OBD I have a splitter down where I'm showing you where the adapter is because uh, I have the uh, heads-up display it's slightly different than the one I had in a previous video uh, the older one I had was green in color this one uh, I'm not sure if you could tell the colors it's actually white and blue so it matches the uh, the dash perfectly so I'm quite happy with this one and here we can cut back to this we can see that uh, it's now connected to the Bluetooth so I'm getting right here I'm just getting real-time uh, coolant temperature um, covered this in another, a previous video so I won't get too in depth there is a wireless charger built in just under the leather here so you can drop your iPhone or any phone with wireless charging down here it'll start to charge uh, also have the Roku installed for the kids so they can watch their YouTube and Netflix while we're out and about um, I uh, I can't demo it right now because my Wi-Fi is in my SRX right now I also have a pretty cool setup in my SRX uh, very similar and uh, I just have a little USB dongle for my Wi-Fi uh, I get unlimited Wi-Fi anywhere so uh, I just move it back and forth between my vehicles and uh, it works out quite well um, couple other things this requires what's called a nav tv barracuda um, what i could do it actually wires into the the mirror controls so if i press up uh, they have an input for front camera so i actually have a, a switch box back here um, and i've put in a camera for the back so when the dogs are in the truck it's uh it's real simple just to switch over to the camera while we're driving and uh, i can see what's going on um, what it also lets us do, I can press back on here. Um, I can see the, the backup camera at any time. Um, once again, that's the Nav TV Barracuda that you need. Um, and it also lets you do the, the video in motion. So um, if I put the car in drive, uh, I can still... I can still have the video on, whereas before, um, you won't be able to view that. Um, also got the dash cam of course right up here um, the second cable the one is power the other one is actually connected to a, another camera at the back which you can't see it's behind the one camera facing us um, so in total I have three cameras I have one facing outwards in the front one facing outwards in the back and then one facing inwards um, I was having some problems with uh, getting some windows smashed about a year and a half ago uh, so since then I've installed a camera and uh, well ironically I haven't had any break-ins since then but uh, that camera is always running um, and I, I paid about thirty dollars for it it's been running for over a year and a half and no issues with uh, heat or cold here so uh, I'm quite happy with it and uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm missing um, well, I guess my uh, my a pillars uh, a lot of people have had uh, problems with uh, saggy f fabric, so I just had mine reupholstered when I first got the truck. 
Um, and uh, it's still holding up quite good. Other than that, I think I've covered everything here. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, like I said, a lot of what I have depends on that Nav TV Barracuda. Um, one of the other features of it is, um, you know, like our cigarette uh, plugs are always hot, right? Which unfortunately, you know, you want stuff to turn on and off with the truck. You don't really have that option. The Nav TV actually has um, switched power. So that's how the display knows to turn on. Um, because it's wired into the nav tv to get the power i mean there's if you don't have a nav tv you could still do it um you could probably even just rig it up to turn on uh when you tap the screen the screen will just stay on double tap to turn it off that sort of thing um most of the wiring is hidden away under this piece in the uh in the console so uh you know i still have most of uh my uh space here and uh yeah if you have any questions please let me know uh it's uh this was all actually pretty simple to do. Um, you know, I just took my time with it and I, uh, I kind of had fun doing it. So I didn't really see it as too much work. But if you have questions, yeah, just let me know.